what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Why? Um, well, what I'm doing here is something that started about um, 10 years ago, 11 years ago now, where there was a power failure in the Western Cape. And I looked up at the time, and I remember seeing there was a howling southeaster blowing. And that made me realize that we don't actually have an uh, energy shortage. We've got an electricity shortage, right? Because the energy in the wind was so apparent all around us, but we had no electricity, and that made us helpless. And that planted a seed in my mind and thought, well, I wonder if it's possible to make electricity from the wind. I wonder what would be involved. And so I started to experiment and uh, put together little things and plastic blades and so on. And slowly I refined a design which was suited to local conditions, which was doable with locally available materials and parts and so on. Friends saw what I had and neighbours saw what I had above my house and started to ask me questions. How did you do it? And can you make me one? And so on. And eventually I succumbed to the pressure and I actually ran a course for a few people, how to build your own wind turbine. And I ran another course again after that and uh, one about electrics. And that was heard about by people at schools. What really got me um, busy, though, was going into a school one day, uh, doing a talk, as I did occasionally, and seeing there a poster that compared different energy sources. And it had a lot of disadvantages about wind energy, a lot of disadvantages about solar energy, like dangerous chemicals and things. And then right at the bottom it mentioned nuclear power, and it spoke about how nuclear power was the best thing. There were nine advantages and only one disadvantage. It was factually incorrect. It was intentionally deceiving. And I was pretty horrified and, and pretty angry as well that somebody was manipulating school children by putting out this kind of propaganda about energy sources. Well, I felt an obligation on myself to go and counter this and try and present to the public and to school kids particularly that this is not the whole truth <laughs> that they're being told. I received an invitation to go to Japan, attend a conference there, visit the Fukushima area and look at the nuclear devastation that had happened over there uh, and met people there from Mongolia and Australia and Colombia and from all over the world. And uh, that has really been a very uplifting and energizing experience.